हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल टेक्नो सुजाता फ्रॉम वीडियो टाइटल यू गॉट एन आइडिया अबाउट व्हाट विल बी द टुडेज लर्निंग टॉपिक सो यस वी विल लर्न हाउ टू मेक रिस्पॉन्सिव वेबसाइट सो लेट्स स्टार्ट अवर रिस्पॉन्सिव वेबसाइट जर्नी बिफोर प्रोसीडिंग विद द हाउ टू मेक रिस्पॉन्सिव वेबसाइट डिजाइन फर्स्ट वी विल अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज रिस्पॉन्सिव वेबसाइट डिजाइन रिस्पॉन्सिव वेबसाइट डिजाइन automatically adjust in all different size screens and viewports it make website look good in all devices including desktop laptop tablet and mobile so why do we need a responsive website design when you start creating a design for a laptop you start using a bigger font size bigger image resolution but that bigger resolution and bigger font size it starts breaking in other devices here the role of responsive website design comes responsive website design ensures that user can access and interact with your website content easily and encourage them to stay on your website for a longer time so we learn what is responsive website design and why we need to use them let's check the ways to make responsive website First one is you can use any responsive framework including bootstrap foundation and many more you can choose the responsive framework based on your project requirement second way is to use html and css you can include media queries to make responsive images and text along with that you can use css grid layout Before choosing any responsive framework check out their website explore the documentation and example of that responsive framework and if they fit in your requirement then only you can choose that framework currently i'm showing the example of bootstrap responsive framework you can explore the other framework also i will create a separate video on how to use a responsive framework in website In this video we are going to explore the second way to make responsive website and that is html and css in html web page add this responsive meta tag in header and this is a common setting we used in most of the mobile optimized websites let's explore the attributes of this meta tag one by one viewport is used to control the visibility area of a web page width is used to control the size of viewport and initial scale is used to control the initial zoom level when the page is first loaded you can see here i have added the value for width equal to device width which is equal to 100% of viewport width you can also add a specific number of pixels in width like width equal to 500 same for initial scale you can add different values default value is 1 and minimum value is 0.1 and maximum is 10 This responsive tag also have a different attribute. Let's explore them. First one is height. It set the height of viewport of device like we set for width. Second one minimum scale. It controls how much zoom out allowed on that page. Third maximum scale. It controls how much zoom in allowed on that page. And fourth one user scalable. It sets flag that allows the device to zoom in or zoom out on that page you can use this attribute if we want to set extra attributes for responsive website design so we have covered the html part of responsive website design let's jump to css in css we use media queries to add different css for different devices this is the syntax of media query here media rule is a used to apply different styles for different devices also it check width and height of viewport or device orientation and resolution next you can also add a media type for example all print screen speech that you want to target next one is and or not these are all operators that you can use to combine media type or media feature then inside curly bracket you can add media features that add more specific details to media queries by allowing to test for specific feature of display device this not operator is used to reverse media queries and only operator is used to prevent older browser from applying styles and if you are using not or only you need to mention a media type in media syntax let's take a simple example to understand this media syntax and see i have added mean width 320 pixel and max width 
480 pixel. This is CSS breakpoint for smaller mobile devices. Likewise, you can add different CSS breakpoints for tablet, laptop and larger desktop. And if you want to apply CSS based on orientation of device, then you can use orientation and use the values portrait and landscape. Then accordingly, it will detect the portrait and landscape mode and apply CSS for that particular device. Like this, you can combine different types of features and create a media query. Along with this, there are some common CSS breakpoints used in media queries. Example, for mobile device, 320 to 480 pixel for iPads and tablets 481 to 768 pixel for small screens like laptops 769 to 1024 pixel for large screens like desktops it will be 1025 to 1200 pixel for extra large screens like TV it will be between 1201 pixel and more. You can add all these media queries in single CSS file and import inside head tag. But there is one more way that you can create different CSS files based on different mobile resolution and import inside head tag. Now let's combine HTML and CSS part and create a simple responsive website design example. Here you can see I have created a simple HTML example and added CSS as per laptop. But when you open this website on smaller devices, it starts breaking. Here you can write the media queries to make the website responsive. To make a responsive website, I have added in HTML this responsive meta tag. And in CSS file, I have added this media queries for smaller mobile devices. You can also add the media queries for tabs and extra large screens. Also, you can create a separate CSS file for this media queries and import inside head tag. After adding HTML and CSS, you can see our website become responsive in smaller devices. So friends, let's wrap up the video for now. We have seen in this video what is responsive website design, benefits of responsive website design, two ways to make responsive website design, HTML responsive meta tag, common media queries breakpoints and simple responsive website example. Friends, if you like my video, please click on the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and share with your friends and families. Till then, keep learning. Bye-bye.